When I started being a photographer, there were photographers that we were inspired by. And there was somebody else that really caught my attention when I looked at his work at the time. It was William Klein. And I was inspired by him. I was inspired by the chaos that you could find in his photographs. So I decided that maybe it was a good moment to go and meet him and find out from him what made him do these pictures and who gave him the freedom to really express himself in the way he wanted to. What's interesting for me is that he was the, the lover of Ingrid Bergman. <laughs> amazing, no? Yeah, yeah amazing. not everybody knew. Exactly, William. I'm happy. Hey, why is he happy? <laughs> for meeting you. I was, a, I was a kind of a star photographer for Vogue. So I love your exhibition, it's beautifully done. I love the reflection of the pictures on the table. You were in Berlin when? Yeah, just because now. I had a show near you at the Newton Foundation. Fashion came into my life by accident. Uh, Lieberman had seen an exhibition that I had, and he said, I like what you're doing. Why don't you come and talk to me in, in Vogue, and we'll see what we can uh, do together. I didn't start making fashion photographs for Vogue. I, I was financed by Vogue to do this book on New York. As far as fashion was concerned, Lieberman said to me at one point, we are financing these wonderful photographs that you're taking in the street, but uh, we're a fashion magazine, so why don't you try your hand at fashion? I had no idea how to start. I started to look at the fashion magazines and what was being done. I, I discovered Penn and Avedon, and for me, these were the ideal photo photographers. For me, it was a golden era. And what was the first story you did for Vogue? They asked me to do uh, photograph uh, stretch stockings and I got a letter from Avedon and he said we are the two best American photographers and I thought that was incredible. Did you work with the same model a lot? When I started to work uh, in fashion I realized there were some girls who were, who were interesting and I worked with the same ones. But did you know Barbara Muller? Yeah but I didn't, never met her but I know exactly who she is. Yeah. What you never photographed her? No. No, before your time. Yeah. Yeah. I discovered working with a telephoto lens was something that I dug. Went out in the streets with these girls and told them to cross the street and, and mix in with traffic and people. And that was the first real big assignment that I gave myself. Mirrors. And I thought if I had mirrors, I would have the uh, shoot the girls and the mirrors and I shoot from the back and I would have a composite photograph. You painted these directly on the photograph? Well, not directly. You have to put plastic sheets. They are really good, these ones. They really became your handwriting, no? Nobody else did it. When did you start doing your films? Uh, right away. Because I see you have a lot that I didn't know. Maybe 20 films. 20 films? Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot, no? It's a lot. And so the idea of having the cities as the subject of the book was something that came naturally. It became a specialty of mine to do books on, on cities, and so I did about seven cities. If I went to Moscow, it was because I wanted to see how people in, in the socialist country were living, and I hoped that the photographs that I took would make sense to people, uh, to Russians, uh, to everybody. But I mean, looking back, I would say the first book I did, which was New York, is my favorite city. I wasn't really a good photographer. I mean, I didn't know much about photography. I mean, I never sold a photograph that uh, wasn't fashion in the beginning. But I thought it was incredible to get paid for doing to these To do something things. you like, yeah. yeah.